You wanna see your visitor? Or you wanna beat him? Welcome back to Let's Play Mafia 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Vito's got someone waiting to see him. It's his Hi, sister. Vito. Hey, Frankie. I don't know why I said that. How you that. doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would've been nice if he asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie, go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. Come on, that was like right, 30 seconds. Like go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. It looks like Vito is going to have to break out. One week later! So this is about a week and a half, two weeks, Let's two and a half Salada. weeks, I think. Those ain't gonna clean themselves. Oh, that's much worse than license plates. You're the wrong guard. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Of course, this is decades before anyone uttered the words, my bad. I don't ever tell you all you guys look exactly the same. Pretty sure that poster is backwards. Or maybe it's upside down. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't have that. Ah, I remember the old days, back when I could run. So, you're the new cleaning baby, huh? Follow me. I'm pretty sure people in prison don't shower in their underwear. Jesus, you're singing. It's the second worst thing that happened to me in here. There you go. Make them spot. Hey, pipe down. Hurry it up. All of us. Relax, fellas. I'm just giving the old pipes a workout. You need more of that shit. I'm going to give your face you death? That's more like it. Clean it good. guy's got no culture. Come on, a hand rush. This is madness. Still pretty filthy. I'm just saying. Oh lord. Of course, I suppose if you shower in your underwear, that has the benefit of the... Uh... What's the matter? Keep cleaning! Or else. The benefit of uh, not having the threat of dropping the soap. Again, I swear these guys get hey, off of this. Looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. Uh... All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. 
I swear to God, if there's a drop of the soap mini game, I am really going to be upset. All right, Scaletta, get to... your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would Keep a uh, meter in the green zone, or would you drop it? Oh, jeez. How about over here? There's nobody over here. No? Oh. Great. Great! It really wouldn't be a prison story without a shower sequence, I guess. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, this isn't going to end well. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. It's party time. Let's dance, sweetheart. <coughs> Do that again. Thank this God for defensive fight, fighting. Huh? Hurry up, Jack. Uh. This could have been so much easier. Come on, knock him down. <laughs> Oh, okay, right. Like from the last episode. Oh no! Not frame rate drops now. Anytime but now. Don't knock him out. I want to hear him scream. Stay down! I'm glad the other guy bailed, unless he's going to get, like, rapist back up. Thank you, sir. Can I have another? Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and, uh... Better than the alternative, today, anyway. Might want to read it. Looks important. Thanks, Adolf. I don't know the guy with the Hitler mustache could be okay if you get to know the right people. Uh-oh. Oh. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. And... Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. His hair is grown back. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. 
You're just going to give them a good beating. Break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I Not to mention to some see. emotional turmoil to take out on someone. Come here, Mary! I don't think so. I do. Again, harder. Oh, nice shot, Mary. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Uh. No guards to save you this time. Try again, little man. If you don't know the steps, you shouldn't ask someone to dance. This time I'll... Is that all you've got? Nope. Fuck you. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl. Get over here! Oh wow. Oh shit! I don't think any, anyone's ever actually connected with one of those hard hits before. Fuck! No! I liked you were a lot better when you were a horseman of the apocalypse. I don't think so. Fuck. Come on. Oh, again, harder. Nice shot, Mary. The Ezio Auditore School of Boxing. Oh, fuck. This time. Is that all you've got? Oh. I'm not gonna yeah, be so go. gentle this time. So. <sighs> Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that. This isn't gonna end well. I'm already beat up. Got a little health back. Try again, little man. Ah. Come on. Oh, fuck. Don't shank me, bro. Cold-blooded, Vito. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Time well spent. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, uh, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to working for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. 
Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's going to have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clementi was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great. So what do I do now? Am I in trouble, too? No, 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 no. no. Nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. I like him. He respects the old ways. You Already. know these guys. <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. Fuck yeah. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Peppy, come here. Have a taste. Now, I hope when they say I got uh, relocated to his cell, they don't mean uh, anything unsavory. Chapter 7 In Loving Memory of Francesco Potenza, Empire Bay, April 10th, 1951. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Shit. Now Joe and he doesn't look a day older. And, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Not even winter anymore. Hey, and I have my weapon wheel back. Where the fuck am I? Um... <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, shit, this is that building. I think. Oh! Going where I used to live. Man, the 50s were a lot nicer looking than the uh, 40s were. Oh, man. Are my cars still intact? Dude! I don't have a dollar to my name, but I can fix that. Next video, I'm going to go crush a bunch of cars. Still don't have a place in my... Oh. Alright, I have uh, greasers to work against now. The haircut reminded me. Ladies. Please have like a huge beard or something. That'd be so funny. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you. Lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot when I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. 
All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. We'll see, uh... I wanted to check on my outfits, but, uh... It seems I can't go back in there. I could probably do that once I get to my new place. Um... For that matter, I wonder if I'll be able to go to clothing stores and get new outfits now that it's, you know, a new decade. In any event, we'll check out uh, Vito's new apartment in the next episode of, uh, Let's Play Mafia 2. I'm Burning Dogface, and boy is it good to be free.